Welcome back uh, to the adventures of the Zebulon Harding. I apologize a little bit here for the delay that we've had in getting the game up. Um, it's been a weird couple of weeks. Uh, some of you may know, uh, dog. my dog's getting uh, treated for cancer, so that's taking up a lot of time, a lot of running back and forth between here and Boulder, which is not necessarily very close um, for the treatments every day. Um, my masks game finished up uh, which left a kind of a weird hole in my schedule. And between all of these things, it just kind of threw my whole schedule out of whack. And the last couple of days, I haven't been feeling great. So it, it's just been a, a weird couple of weeks. It's not through lack of interest in the game. I've been thinking about it a lot. I uh, just haven't been able to really get in here and, and do all the mighty stuff that needs to be done to uh, progress the game forward here. So, um, but able to do it today and uh, glad to be able to get back in here. So let's go see how everything is going now when we last left earl and well just earl earl and asana i guess in this case earl and asana and k they were on the surface of glimmer and near the sort of lichen encrusted precursor vault that was on the surface of glimmer that apparently the uh entities behind meridian station as well as uh, kumar shem had been trying to gain access to for quite some time um, using some kind of waste from the meridian system that kind of thing that wasn't having much effect on the lichen but it was having a lot of effect on the planet uh, they got a hold of k and were in some way shape or form using k to get through the lichen and their you know sort of stellar nature um, to get through the lichen and get towards the um to the precursor vault and that gave earl an idea um, when when earl and asana got up to the lichen um, in pursuit of the people who had kidnapped Kay, he pulled out pulled out a small canister that was the can uh, a canister that Paladin had given him, Scout had given him many 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 uh, uh, sessions ago to sort of drive back the amorphous blob that had overcome a big chunk of this of this dead rock of a planet uh, out in the middle of just unknown space. Seeing how they intended to use Kay, uh, it occurred to Earl that this might be the same kind of thing and it gave uh, a considerable amount of context to what he had been given from paladin either paladin knew or didn't know or whatever but he's got this canister and it's got this glowing energy from it, it, it some kind of uh race the same way the wisp the same way that uh that k is some you know is or, or a portion of it you know Answers would be forthcoming, but Earl, you know, Soldier Dawn got through the lichen, was able to uh, create a distraction and extract K from the group that was already at the base of the Precursor Vault and figuring out a way in, and then escape off into the lichen with K and this canister. Obviously, the two easiest ways of getting through the lichen um, now taken away from uh, any potential pursuit, which is good for us. Less good, however, was K's response when. They whirled on Earl and said, Earl, what are you carrying? And that's where we kind of left things was this, you know, this accusatory question that honestly Earl's not sure about the answer to, or even if he doesn't think K is um, possibly justified in its tone of voice, in their tone of voice. Um, all right, so uh, let's take a look at what this maybe entails here, because I think this is probably pretty, this is a pretty fraught situation. Um, K is uh you know this friendly semi-friendly ball of energy that we've been uh traveling with we've been trying to get um to come you know progress as a as a bond um they're not it's not easy because they're not they're really truly alien and uh, not exactly sure how to move forward on stuff like that but we do i think we just came to their rescue and i think that allows us to develop their relationship um Maybe standing with them against hardship. I think so. Standing with them against hardship. Um, you know, we're we're going at some to some length here to to get them back from this kidnapping, and I think that allows me to um, advance the thing initially because I did come and help. This may not matter uh, because I think the next thing that happens here when they're faced with this thing, this 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 canister, this here, this canister. It doesn't look like this. Zeb, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's not Zeb. Damn it. Uh, K, I don't know what this is. I'm starting to suspect, but I, I've never had any idea it was given to me. It was it was a way of influencing uh, some some creature on another planet, and it reacted in the same way that that the lichen reacted to you. And I thought it might be similar. I had no idea how similar it might be. I'm starting to suspect, but uh, truly, I I don't know what it is. 
or what it might be. I, I have some suspicions. I almost hope I'm wrong, but I, I just, I don't know. And I think that regardless of Earl's, I can't decide. I, I feel like this is just a straight up thing. When your relationship with a connection is tested through conflict, betrayal, or circumstance, you roll hard. Now, this is interesting. It says here, if you share a bond, add plus one. So you can still have your relationship tested with a bond. You can lose a bond. And I don't know that I was entirely consciously aware of that. It makes sense. Um, but there's been a sense in my mind that once once you get somebody to be a bond, they're just kind of safe. And that's not that's not true. In this case, it doesn't matter, but it's it's still worth remembering it's not true. But I mean, regard whatever Earl's got going here through ignorance or whatever, you know, uh, Kay's under a lot of stress, has been attacked, has been kidnapped. I think that this is probably a situation where the relationship is tested. So maybe if I were GMing this, I might give somebody the ability to do like a compel first or something like that to get them to believe me. But I'm comfortable enough with this. I think testing a relationship is, it's already a stat check. It's not like some random, just flat roll. And there's enough escape clauses in here that however it goes, I'm willing to kind of uh, deal with the consequences. So I am going to test relationship. I do not get a modifier because they are not a bond with me, not yet. And we're going to see where we're at. And that, ooh, that is a strong hit. Yay. I love a strong hit. Uh, I gotten kind of, uh, uh, I got kind of away from seeing those for a while. So on the strong hit, we develop your relationship. Oh, great. Develop the relationship means we need to get to make a uh, mark another bit of progress. Interesting. If we have a test against a bond and we uh, develop a relationship, we don't mark progress. Instead, you roll plus their rank to learn to learn the impact of your legacy. So your dad, like in this case, plus four. Huh. Interesting. I did not know, man. Okay. So. I'm going to mention this because I think it may be something that I don't know that I, this is definitely not an iron swarm because the way bonds work entirely is entirely different. But with this, once you have made somebody a bond, if you continue to develop the relationship with them, they generate advancement in your legacy track for your relationships. They just get stronger, which like if you manage to make a bond out of somebody who's an extreme, every time you advance the relationship, um, and get a strong hit, you get like two more ticks on your legacy track or something. That's that's an, that's amazing. Uh, if you get a strong hit with a match, you can actually raise their rank by one. Um, and if there's you get a miss, it just doesn't really do anything, which is great. I mean, that, and once they're a man, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with myself had I not had I known this because I'm pretty sure there's been some opportunities here for me to raise my uh, to to. It, develop my relationship with uh, uh, Paladin or Asana. Actually, Asana is probably, I've had that opportunity here because they are, um, I am leveraging their help in desperate circumstances. So yeah, I'm gonna get a chance to do that. That's interesting and very interesting. But in this case, all I do is develop a relationship. I say all I do, but it's still a pretty important thing here. And I'm gonna get another mark on my relationship with Kay. So I am not entirely sure how they react to this. It's positive. I would say Kay believes me. That doesn't mean it isn't bad uh, information, like bad news, a, a, a very stressful situation here. So I feel like I want to see how Kay reacts to this situation. What's the, let's look on character goal. Craft an object, craft an object. Okay, okay. And, oh, I think I know what this is. Uh, that doesn't really work for me. Craft an object, summon strength. Okay, okay, okay. K, K, K steps forward. And, and I will say, I'm glad I'm wearing the suit for dealing with the toxic environment. It's not perfect in this situation, but K isn't exactly, um, I, am, I, I envision their suit as being somewhat damaged, probably intentionally by the Meridian team in order to allow their presence, so to speak, to drive this lichen back. And as such, um, they're dumping probably a lot of relate, uh, radiation in the environment. Now, the suit's going to protect us for a, a reasonable period of time, but it's not perfect. And so I kind of like uh, easy there, you know, so you want you want to look at it? You want to you want to hold it? And they they stare at it like I mentioned this space suited face mask kind of staring at it, almost cradling it. And they say, Earl, we need this is there's 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 still a presence here, but it's very weak. It could probably stay in this state for many years, but it would it would never recover. We need to. I need you to do for this for this 
for them what you did for me create a, an enclosure not a cage but something that will allow them to uh craft an object summon strength that, that allows them to grow stronger to recover uh is it is it like a baby it, it is it's very small and it's very weak I'm, I'm not sure that the word you're using really applies but it it is something can we will you do that yeah absolutely uh uh hand iron i'll i'll do whatever i can i i, I can uh, replicate the tech i use for the suit and i can repair that suit too happy to uh given that you'll kill me otherwise uh unintentionally uh yeah let's get back to the city let's get out undercover as quick as we can here and uh uh yeah let's get back to the city as fast as we can we'll get some help and i'll see if i can get some answers from paladin about where the hell this thing came from in the first place and i'm thinking to myself and he's got another one because i brought no wait he doesn't he gave me this one and i left the other oh i left the other one at the at the at the freaking structure on the dead rock underneath the the amorphous blob there is one of these things inside of the little prefab structure that we left there to keep the goop off of the the blob off of it there's one of these there okay all right um my hand to iron i'm going to see the end of this the, this mis, the misuse of these of these small creatures like you i'll i'll do whatever i can to help them and k pauses for a second looking at it and without really turning their head or anything and still looking at it they kind of go why did you say creatures so we're gonna do a move here i'm just cut that scene um we're gonna do a move here as we work our way out of the lake and then get back to our bike uh the the, the speeder bikes basically those hover bikes and try to get back here but rather than trying to um undertake an expedition we are using we've already traveled this route now we've we've undertaken the expedition and i believe if i'm not mistaken we made the appropriate progress on it and cleared it out so instead of that move we are going to set a course but before we do that before we set a course we need to we need to swear this vow and see whether how that actually goes so we're going to swear an iron vow is this difficult no there's just a few of these things and uh, as far as i know i want to get it back so i want to do in any case, let's let's swear the iron vow here. All right, so we're gonna swear an iron vow. If you swear an iron vow, to complete crest, what your vow. If you swear this vow to a connection, add plus one. I am. So I'm doing that, and I am swearing that vow. That is an eight against one of four. That's a strong hit. Lovely. On the strong hit, you're emboldened, and it is clear what you have to do next. Take plus two momentum. Does nothing for me because my momentum is currently at a ten. Um, that's fine. That is just fine. Um, so I'm, the vow I'm going to say here is, um, hmm, I am going to, I'm going to also mark progress here on this find a safe place for K, simply because I have re at least recovered them away from, I've gotten them away from Meridian. So that's fine. And I'm going to add one here and it's going to be save the small misused r wisps, wisps from their enclosure from their uh, small wisps from their misuse and help them and we're gonna make this one mm, I think I'm gonna make this I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna chicken out is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go to my oracles and say it's about a 50 50 chance is this difficult yes it is difficult this is going to be difficult fine uh you know sometimes you just need a good oracle or a coin flip um all right so this is this is dangerous um all right so save the small wisps from their misuse and help them uh first of all let's get ourselves back to a city where we can get some help from the people in my life who are willing to help me so great let's do that i am going to we're going to set out at great haste here moving and part of this is the fact that we can move through the lichen easily and get away from there and i don't really think that um i don't think that their group that the meridian slash kimura shim group really have the ability to do that so because we're getting that help from uh k i think we get a little bonus there because they are uh, a guide and in this case their ability to be a guide helps because they can help guide us through this lichen so we are going to make the move set a course and i am taking the modifier plus one because of that ability i don't I think I have any assets to help me with this, but let's find out. Snoop, nope, explorer, nope. Oh, but I did finish an expedition. I should mark one on my discoveries track. 
we already did that. And when you make a move by fleeing from a pursuer, I will do that. And that is another strong hit with a 10. I will take it. I, I feel as though mathematically speaking or statistically speaking i'm probably owed a couple of t a couple of strong heads so um we head out straight back to the city um with great speed and uh well in advance of any of any pursuit which is just fine by me we're gonna go back over to legacies and make a mark on my dis oh no wait did i yeah no i oh i didn't mean to do that and uh, having arrived back at, oh, where are we? Did I get rid of that city? I think I did. Getting, get, having, getting right back to that, that dome city. Um, I think this is the point where I can actually potentially develop the, the relationship with Asana because of her ability, from her willingness to help me out here. So if we're going back down here to the um, connection moves here, develop your relationship. If you already have a bond with the connection, don't mark progress, roll their rank, roll plus their rank to learn the impact on your legacy. And Asana is dangerous. So I add, I roll and add plus two. Okay, so for that I will, it doesn't really let me make the roll. So I'm gonna go back over here into summary. And I will just roll my heart because that's a plus two and that it's also an appropriate stat to roll for this kind of thing. So I'm going to roll and I'm adding no modifiers because I'm already adding the plus two. And we'll see what we get here for developing the relationship with Asana as she helps me out with this. And I'm talking as we get back. It's like, you know, thank you for this. I know this is, I know this is really strange. Uh, it's really strange for me too, but I appreciate what you're able to do here. You're, you know, I wouldn't be able to do all this without your expertise. And, um, Make it off with things that people would prefer you not make it off to. Uh, I'm not making fun. Uh, it's a hell of a skill, and you're very good at it, so thank you. And, oh, that's weird. Uh, you. Okay, so that is a complete miss, rolling plus heart. Uh, five on the dice against six and seven. However, I can burn momentum to make this a strong hit, and I think I am going to do that, because I really would like to. I don't mind burning the momentum. I'm hitting at max right now anyway, so I keep getting these momentum rewards that don't do me any good. So I am going to take the advantage here, uh, take advantage of my momentum and burn that to uh, take this as a strong hit. So on a strong hit, I mark two ticks on my Bond's legacy track. It's not a match, uh, unfortunately, but um, that is just fine. So I'm going to go over here and mark two ticks on my Bond's legacy track, which actually gives me two more XP since I filled up this last one. My Bond's are kind of lagging behind my other areas, but that's... Fine. You know what? I don't think I did. All right. Because that one is this. Okay. Man, there's a lot going on here. Um, so this should be 20. I'm just going to make sure I've got this all adding up right now. It's actually a uh, good job on this character sheet design. It's actually relatively easy to check. Yes, that is accurate. I should have 20 XP and I do have 20 XP. The end. Well done. Go me. So uh, that was just four unspent, and that gives me uh, quite a bit of leeway there, which is exciting. So, all right, we get back. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna put this back into whatever hidey hole or bolt hole that Paladin has set up here. Probably one of many that he has set up here um, in the city. And I think I got rid of. Oh no, I didn't. It's right there. W City Three by Zhao Hu. Um, excellent. So. Um, Everything, everybody comes back in, and I, I need some place that's uh, sealed from radiation. We need to uh, do some work here, and I need a I need a rad suit or a space suit or something. Um, just working as quick as I can on this, and I'm going to uh, first of all deal with uh, the the damage to K suit so they are made safe, and then I'm going to see what I can do for something that's different from the cancer. When I have the time. I am going to explain to Paladin what this seems, the situation that it seems to be. Like the fact that this is all, uh, you know, th this this canister seems to be connected to K and, and kind of watch just the dismay kind of uh, wash across his face as he realizes. Um, well, actually, I'm curious. Is this, uh, I mean, he's a bond with me. <sighs> uh, he's a good person, but he's also a ruthless person. And I feel like... I feel like it's likely that he understands the gravity of this and the thing and that there's also, but there's also a chance that he uh, is like, listen, this is just, uh, this is the price of doing business here. If we want to, you know, have a chance against these guys, we got to be willing to, you know, take certain steps. So let's say not remorseful, uh, but is he 
remorseful once he understands uh, the, the situation here. Back over here, and he is. Phew, okay, great. Listen, I, I know it's difficult, but this isn't the only one of these things, right? You got another one on that dead rock with the, with the blob where I put the house down. You gotta go get it. And he kind of gives me a look and says, listen, for all intents and purposes, we left a baby alone on a barren rock, surrounded by some kind of alien goop. Just so you had a tent. And you didn't know, and I'm not placing blame, but now we do know and we have to fix that, right? We've got to fix that. We have to make it right. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, we'll, yeah, of course. All right, so uh, a couple of roles I need to do here. I think, first of all, uh, going to do some kind of repair thing here. Uh, well, let me see. I'm trying to remember how I did this with uh, K in the first place. When you face danger to cobble together an ad hoc tool, device, or weapon, envision what you intend to create. Well, that's something if I want to make a move with it later. With sufficient time, you may face danger to assemble or enhance a device for a powerful but limited role. On a hit, the device is ready for use. Eh. I'm just going to go with the basic gear hit thing. You're making a move to craft equipment. Add plus one, take plus one momentum on a hit. That's fine. That's what. That's essentially what I'm going to do here. So we're gonna we're gonna try to set about here to build this thing. Um, and. That's really just about all I need to do. So we're going to go back over here and take a look at repair. Sure. I mean, really, that's the role I'm making. Um, yeah, might as well. All right. So make your own uh, director. Uh, I'm rolling. Make your own repairs. Roll plus wits. All right. So I'm rolling plus wits and I'm adding plus one because of my gearhead thing as we try to figure out something that will contain and, and help this this small creature strengthen itself that is a weak hit all right um on a hit you gain repair points as appropriate to the situation additionally you may sacrifice resources and exchange and exchange each minus one supply for one extra repair point so what i need i need to fix his suit their suit and repair some other device so i need like five points i am in the facility but I got a weak point. I got a weak hit, so that would mean that I need to spend uh, two more supply to get up to the five points that I need. I think in, com in combined, because I'm I'm fixing a thing, and I am also basically creating another device. And I'm going to say that's arbitrarily. I'm saying that's three points. That I'm just repairing this. You know, I'm essentially adding to this canister in such a way as to make it more of a less of a prison than more of a containment and restraint type of situation. So five points, which I think, yeah, we weak hit, that's fine. You can do what you need to do, but you need to spend some supply. Ouch, first of all, to get me down to two supply. That's not great, um, but I will I will take it. Um, and I'm also going to say that this is part of the progress on my vow to um, see these um, wisps, save the small wisps from their misuse and help them. So I'm going to mark progress there. To getting them back to the city count? Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna say no. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to sojourn. I need to resupply before we head out of here. Uh, I just we gotta we gotta take a minute here and take stock of things. Um, Zeb is still over on Last Hope, right? Zeb is still over on Last Hope because I came back here. No, no, Zeb isn't here. I used the stealth module. The ship is here. I just need to rest up. We need to resupply. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and we are going to resupply or no sojourn sojourn. And I'm, I'm asking Paladin for help on this thing. Um, cover move sojourn, spending time recovering roll plus heart. And I'm really, it feels like I need to look at sojourn here because it feels like having somebody with a bond there should help. Actually, it just, no, wait, it's what kind of thing are they? So, um, Paladin is a smuggler. Yeah, okay. Um, and a thief. I've got a smuggler and a thief with me. Um, I don't know why. Oh, I know why I did that. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to give myself some bonuses here on this roll just because I've got several people here who can definitely help me um, with the soldier move and are inclined to do so. So, we're going to get in here and roll. Both of them helping me. She's a only a thief so and see where that gets us still only a weak hit which is terrible terrible roll um but on a weak hit as above time is short resources are strained you can make one recover mood move instead of two see this is where sojourn uh is much stronger if you're in with a group because uh, a group can take uh multiple moves still on 
a sojourn move, but um, in this case, uh, that's it. Um, so I am going to then take a strong hit on resupply and take that gives me plus two supply back. So that's that gets me up to four. My spirit is still down, but I might be able to do something about that in a little bit. Uh, and then the other thing that I'm going to do here is I want to talk to Paladin about the situation with my while I'm resting and we're talking and trying to make some plans here. I want to see if there's anything that they can tell me about uh, Surya's tribute and the crew of Surya's tribute and see if we learn anything else there. Um, rather, if he was able to learn anything while we were gone. So in this case, I'm going to gather information and just take a plus one on that from his uh, appropriate quality for helping out with that. Again, a weak hit. The information provides new insight, but also complicates your quest. Envision what you discover and take plus one momentum. Okay. Um, new insight, but complicates the quest. So I think what he tells us here is that some of the crew of the Sirius Tribute was recorded as having um, been brought back here by uh, like a salvage and rescue group. Um, complicates the quest, but they're not, they're probably not here now. Huh. Okay. Um, they're not here now, and uh, the names that he was able to track down all registered. They, they didn't all leave in the same direction, but uh, several of the names he was able to track down registered on an independent transport that had listed as their um, destination, their eventual destination, LaGrange, which he goes, I haven't even heard of. And I'm like, I have. That's There's this uh, habitable world out there. It's under attack. Uh, I've been past there several times. Um Who's attacking it? Meridian. And like proper, they, they've got the Meridian logo, but I've never seen forces like that around the station. I don't know whether they were from outside the system or what, but they've got a proper damn, you know, flying battalion out there. A whole fleet. In fact, they sent some of them uh, up over the, I think some of those that came into the system here came from there. Uh, they came into the system to blockade this, pl the blockade this place. I think they came in from LaGrange. Why would they have sat back there? I don't know. I don't remember why I was with them in the first place. I mean, I remember them. I just... <sighs> I can't, I can't remember any connection with LaGrange, why they would have gone back there. I don't think, I just don't think I do. No, I can't think of anything. <sighs> one more, one more damn question I don't have answered. All right. Well, at least we know, I know more and uh, I have a place I can take the bodies back. You don't, you don't want to leave them here? No. If, if maybe LaGrange is where they're from. Uh, God, I just wish I could remember. And, uh, yeah. We'll go from there. I'm going to see, I still, I, I'm going to say the Paladin, I, I still have just, I've got holes in my life. I, I, yeah, I woke up with amnesia, but that, that that can be, you know, the sleep pod sickness. I was in, uh, I think when they found me, I was in like a, a medical pod, and I think they put me in, in stasis to help me survive when the ship started to run out of air. And some of this makes sense for that. Like uh, everything, me not remembering how I got on the Zebulon Hardy, that totally makes sense. I don't understand why I've got these other gaps. I just don't, I don't, I, I, I'm starting to wonder if I'm ever going to get all of my memory back. And uh, maybe, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be all right when I do find, if I do find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a heart and roll to see kind of if Paladin has any comforting words. I'm using this both as an oracle and as a move. If he gives me some good advice here, something that comforts me, uh, I'm going to take it and use it as a heart. And, and if I don't, if, he, if I don't roll well enough, then, well, we'll see. And that is a weak hit. Uh, on a weak hit, you do find some companionship or comfort. Your spirit is strengthened, uh, but this indulgence is fleeting. Uh, some kind of envision, complication, uh, interruption, complication, or inner conflict. So I get clearly, I take one, take two spirit, but lose a point of momentum. <laughs> okay, I'll take the two spirit. That's fine. I'll take the two spirit. My momentum's at a two. My spirit second of a five, though. Um, so you you told me when you got back, when you saw that on the ship, you saw, you walked into your uh, living quarters and you knew they were yours because you saw your favorite shirt. Yeah, yeah. Well, how'd you know that it was your favorite shirt? I don't know. I just knew. All right. And you, you know these people were your friends. Yeah, yeah, I know they were my friends. All right. Well, then you need to find them. Whatever it takes. I think you find these people who were your friends, you'll get answers. Maybe, maybe just, maybe LaGrange is special. Maybe you keep wandering past that point because uh it means something to you maybe that's part of what it is i'll see if i can find out more about it if they're fighting honestly i'm a little bit insulted i mean if they're fighting meridian i don't know why i haven't been involved at this point i don't think you know who i am kind of smirks 
yeah, I mean, it, it may set you back on your heels a little bit, having all this work before you, but at least you know what you need to do, right? He chucks me on the shoulder. You'll get around this. I know you. You're tougher than you look. Smarter, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, all right. All right. Listen, we got your back here, and we'll keep an eye out for what's going on with Shem and the rest of the Meridian folks and leave word, but you ought to get out of here as fast as you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to get back to the ship. K's ready. I think this... I'm going to call it B, I guess. Uh, B's ready, and we're gonna get we're gonna get going. All right, all right. Safe travels. Uh, if you're gonna pick up the thing, uh, pick up my structure. Uh, get 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 the shelter up out of there. I don't need to lose that. We'll find another place to hide it out. All right, all right. Oh, that's a that's a fair point. All right. Well, good luck getting off the planet. Hopefully the cloak holds up. <sighs> Hopefully the cloak holds up. Hopefully the cloak holds up. What does a cloak do? Do I want to get a cloak for the ship? What's it do? Doesn't do anything apparently. Vehicle bay, heavy cannons. What do we got in here? Engine upgrade, grapple stealth. Was it under stealth? Yeah, stealth tech. What is stealth tech? Let's learn more. When you make a move against a specific foe or threat to avoid detection, add plus one. If you enter the fray by ambushing an unaware foe, add plus one to mark progress on a strong hit. Are we getting stealth tech for the Zebulon Harding? What do you think? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Oh man, there's some other stuff on here I really like too. My, th my, mm. I need to think about this. So I think we might pause here before we before we head out because I need to think about this. On the one hand, I like the idea of the stealth tech. It shows me really doubling down on what we're going to have to be doing next. We're gonna become a covert operative a covert ship acting out against the corporations and having that stealth tech from paladin really ties together but it steps away from some of the other stuff that i've been doing with earl where he just really enjoys the idea of exploring and i like that also and i'm wondering how much this quest has taken him away from that at this point a stealth tech really leans into um you know things like fugitive I think we might need this just to keep to keep K and the and B safe. I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, so we're gonna go. Um, let's let we're gonna first of all face danger to get off this planet. And my moves for that. Uh, well, we're gonna face danger. I already said that. We've got um, the stealth tech. When you make a move to avoid detection, we're adding plus one. And also, I think my fugitive hat helps me with this. So when you make a move by hiding, fleeing from a pursuer, add plus one and take plus one momentum on a hit. So we got a couple different things here. We are, I am good at hiding and we're getting tech that helps me out with that. And on top of that, we're rolling shadow. So, all right, so we are going to get up out of this thing. I'm gonna make a few adjustments to the stealth tech. Um, just basically tell him, Paladin, I'm gonna keep that for a little while. If it's all the same to you, he goes, I wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly, I don't have another ship to be in the use on. <sighs> Zeb, we're back. We're all back, and we've got a friend, new friend. This is B. B, I'm delighted to meet you. Yeah, I don't think it's talking exactly, but that's fine. I can talk to it. It, it seems a lot like uh, you, Kay. Is, is that accurate? I don't know, Zebulon, but I, I think I think it is very much like me smaller but and weaker but still very much like me earl says that we have another one that we need to help and try to find a safe place for them to recover right right well we better get off the planet first and to do that we got to get past this uh we got to get past this blockade so everyone buckle in i'm gonna make some adjustments paladin Liz, keep that stealth tech zeb so uh we're about to get sneaky all right so i am going to face danger and it is going to be, uh, we are moving with Deception, Stealth, and Trickery, so I'm rolling Shadow. And between my Fugitive uh, asset and the Stealth Tech on the ship, I'm adding plus two to the roll. So, facing danger. That is a strong hit. That is a 10 against a two and a three. Love to see it. I love that for me. And on that face, uh, a strong hit, you're successful, take plus one momentum. So we get off, we basically, I see this, uh, pick your ship uh, cloaking animation. I like the ones from EVE Online, but basically sort of a paneled, you know, shimmering kind of thing. Look like, just think like the um, um, helicarrier stealth sort of 
paneled mirror kind of thing that they have on the, for the for the helicarrier and like the marvel movies and stuff like that and we get up there we're in space it's quiet there's a lot we've got that we've got that precursor vault down below we've got uh the precursor vault over last hope we've got this blockade probably still thinking we're down there yeah all right yeah we gotta head back to that dead rock where that big blob was at the we're ready to go absolutely earl just say the word yeah all right let's go save a baby that's where we're gonna stop uh, i'm gonna be uh actually i think setting a course rather than undertaking an expedition because we actually know the route there but we're gonna be doing that next we're gonna head over to uh dead rock and see if we can't recover that child and figure out the, the little wisp child and figure out how to get that thing back and i didn't figure out what the hell is going on with the rest of this and possibly going back to lagrange this is gonna be great uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me here. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry that we didn't get one up last week. Uh, I will do my very best to get back here. I do have a lot of running around to do this weekend. But if it's any consolation, I think there will also be another. It sounds like uh, the crew is going to be pulling themselves together to um, do another session of uh, The Consequences of Our Own Actions, which is another uh, Star Forge game. Uh, this time with a couple folks from my mass game. Uh, looking forward to that because, uh, yeah some some stuff we we got in a pretty nasty firefight in the last game and bad none of our dice were good it was all awful so i'm um, really excited to get back in there because we are repelling borders to the space to ramshackle space station and also there appear to be some missing bodies so we've got a whole bunch of conf, conf, conflicting stuff going on there and uh looking forward to, to doing some more of that so there's more starforge coming just for you and also for me because I love doing this stuff. Thanks, everyone. Uh, cannot wait to talk to you soon.